Hi, my name is Aaron Christian. I'm an Acquia Certified Drupal 8 Front End Specialist here at ImageX Media. I've been working with Drupal for over a decade now, and my primary focus has been on user experience and interaction design. Hi, my name is Mahmoud Zaid. I'm Aqua Certified Drupal 8 Grandmaster. I am working here at ImageX Media. I have 16 years experience in the technical field, 12 of them on Drupal. What if graphic user interface was never invented? Imagine a world where we are still working with terminals and directories. Not very appealing. Hmm. Many stream use of personal computers only happened after young Steve Jobs met with Xerox and saw the Alto project which supported GUI and three button mouse and has eventually resulted in the Macintosh release. Recently, people discovered the need for creating and visualizing dynamic content with minimal to no technical knowledge. Since Layout Builder became a part of Drupal 8, it became easier for content editors and site builders to create a visual layout for displaying content. Users were able to customize how content appear on a page. But unfortunately, not all of us have an eye for design. Plus, in order for developers to give users the ability to create a visual layout, they must provide them with static, predefined templates or interfaces that require some technical knowledge which takes their focus off of their main job which is authoring content. Hence comes the idea for Bootstrap Layout Builder. It gives the developers the flexibility to integrate with any front-end framework like Bootstrap and it enables him or her to maintain brand integrity by defining the brand style guidelines. Bootstrap Layout Builder takes Drupal Layout Builder to a whole new level with its easy to use advanced visual builder technology. Getting started with the Bootstrap Layout Builder is easy. You can just require it like you would any other module via Composer. You can also visit our project page where you'll find the requirements, features, and installation instructions to get you up and running quickly. Once you've downloaded the module, you can visit your extensions page and install it. Congratulations, you've just installed the Bootstrap Layout Builder module. Next, we need to head on over to one of our content types and manage the display. Here, we need to ensure that we're using Layout Builder. And for the purpose of our demo, we're using Acquia Lightning's distribution, which comes with a helpful module that we highly recommend called the Layout Builder Restrictions module, which will just give us a little bit of a cleaner user interface as we're creating our brand new landing pages using the Layout Builder tool. So from here, you can click on the layouts available for sections. This is gonna give us all of the defined layouts available to us on the front end. So we're gonna to wanna to uncheck the top four. These are our defaults. And we're gonna to wanna to scroll down a little bit and you'll see our brand new Bootstrap Layout Builder enabled layouts. And just for this purpose, we will enable columns one through four. When you're done with that, you can hit save. And now we can start creating our brand new landing pages. In the current version, you can configure the breakpoints base class, which you have default values for mobile, tablet, and desktop. Or you can add a custom breakpoint if needed. You have the option to prioritize them based in your preference. You can also define various layouts, which come with out of the box support for Bootstrap 12 columns based grid. Each layout has its own pre-configured options that define the columns width and can be limited to a breakpoint for a very flexible template creation. You can as well define the style guidelines, colors, and more options will come in the next releases. So I want to get you guys excited about using the Bootstrap Layout Builder module. I created a simple demo landing page in about a half hour that I really think showcases the power of it. First, I configured a one column full width section and using our Bootstrap Layout Builder module, I was able to upload a local background video. Next, I configured a three column contain section where I placed three custom blocks, followed by a two column section. And finally, we have another two column section where we just swap the arrangement of the image and the text. Now, because we defined our base class and our column classes through the back end of our module, each of our sections will pick up those classes inside the DOM structure. Also, because we're using Bootstrap as our foundation and we've configured our layouts accordingly, you can see that responsive is out of the box.
Great, now let's take a look at how we configure this. Clicking on the Add Section button will reveal our layouts, where you can then define the columns and configure its settings. Let's take a look at what a two-column bootstrap configuration looks like. Here you're presented with a brand new Bootstrap Layout Builder interface. We've grouped our options under the following tabs, Layout, Style, and Settings. Inside of the Layout tab, you can see we have the option to add a container, which gives us the flexibility of contained and uncontained content. Below that, we have our breakpoints, desktop, tablet, and mobile, and each have respective column classes. You can see that you can configure each breakpoint to have a different layout. Next, we'll take a look at the Style tab. Here you can give your section a background color from predefined options created on the back end of the module, or you can use Drupal Core's media module to upload a background image or background video. Finally, we'll have a look at the Settings tab. Here you can give your section an administrative label, which just gives it a little bit more meaning when viewing it on the front end. Great, so now that you're familiar with the new Bootstrap Layout Builder user interface, let's have a look at some of our sections and how they're configured. First, let's take a look at our Hero Banner section. Here, we have a one-column Bootstrap Layout where we've added a container at full width and it spans 100% on all of our devices. Next, we added a local background video, and in our Settings tab, we have a couple additional classes to help us with margins and paddings. And finally, I just placed in a custom inline block with a little bit of WYSIWYG content. Next, let's have a look at how we configured our three column bootstrap section. Here, we added a container. We set its layout option to be boxed or contained. On desktop and on tablet, we want three equal columns. And then on mobile devices, we want each of our columns to span 100% of our device width and stack natively. Now let's take a look at maybe changing some of our layout settings and how we can achieve a little bit of a different appearance on our page. Let's go ahead and configure our section four. And let's just swap our container to a full width section. And let's swap out our columns for a 50-50 layout on both desktop and tablet. Next, I'll add in a light background color and we'll hit update. All right, things are looking pretty good. Let's save our page and take a look at this. Okay, so you can see that we have a full width band here with a large hero image on the left and some vertically centered text on the right. Now let's take a look at swapping out that background video on our hero banner. So I'm going to swap over to our style tab. I'm going to remove our background video and I'm going to select add media. I've already uploaded an image to my library, so I'm just going to insert it. And as soon as I hit the update button, you should see that reflected in your layout. Now, pretty cool stuff that we have happening here. We can also swap out our background image for a background color. Again, these are defined in the back end. Hit update. And voila, look at that. We never needed to touch a template or add any CSS. In a future release, and we're going to move it into more of a visual builder style, where you'll be able to see a representation of the paddings and the margins applied to each section. Some of our planned roadmap items include features such as spacing, text color, background position. We're also going to take a look at adding an effects tab where you can do things like animate on scroll effects as well as parallax backgrounds. The module supports Bootstrap 3, 4 and ready for version 5. It can also support any other framework. In next releases, we are going to support configuring more styling options and improve the interface. Well, that's it. Thanks a lot for watching our presentation today. We hope you guys enjoyed learning about how to configure the brand new Bootstrap Layout Builder module, as well as the guided demonstration portion where I took you through how to recreate that landing page. If you guys have any issues or features you'd like to see in our module, you can always contribute back or submit an issue through the project page. And of course, for any of your guys' custom Drupal development needs, you can reach out to us here at ImageX Media by email at hello at imagexmedia.com. That's it. Bye for now. Thank you. Bye.